had a calcium score of 732, which is high, and my nuclear stress test was apparently normal. I feel nothing. What's going on? First of all, a calcium score is a low dose and usually low cost CT scan of your chest that tells us how much calcium buildup there is in the arteries that feed your heart muscle. More calcium usually means more cholesterol plaque, more risk of heart attacks and strokes, and it tells us how aggressive we need to be with lifestyle changes and medication. Uh, a score of zero is the best you can get. One to 100 is mild, 100 to 300 is moderate, and anything above 300 is considered significant. So 732 is in the high range, but it has to be interpreted within your age and gender. Uh, so if you're young, this is more striking than if you were a little bit older. The calcium score tells us there is calcium in the artery, but it doesn't tell us if that calcium is obstructing blood flow inside the vessel. Let's say it can be mostly on the outside and not inside the vessel. So blood flow can be normal even if you have a high calcium score. One way to assess blood flow is doing a nuclear perfusion study, which shows us how the blood is going to different areas of your heart. So in this case, even though the calcium score was high, it seems like the blood flow to the heart muscle is normal. This means that we need to be aggressive with risk factor modification, maybe medications to lower risk, but there's no need for a stent, which is a metal scaffold to open up a blockage or bypass to fix the obstruction. Again, calcium scoring gives us an idea of your risk, but a nuclear stress test tells us if there is obstruction to blood flow. They are complementary tests. 